Mike, can you tell us about Juniper's strategic vision for the data center network? Uh, sure. Our strategic vision is that we want to deliver a single logical switch in the data center network. And it doesn't mean it's going to be a single device. It's going to be multiple devices, but it'll behave like a single logical thing. And that's going to simplify how you, how you administer the network and how you configure it, how you enable virtualization. It'll also support both the storage, compl storage par uh, parts of the network as well as the compute parts. And that's through uh, new technologies we've already talked about, conversion enhanced ethernet and fiber channel over ethernet, as well as native fiber channel interfaces for some of those existing block level uh, devices that you want to keep on that fiber channel infrastructure. But by having it all together on a single logical switch, we also eliminate latency hops. Everything is now one hop away, one store and forward decision. And that gives a much tighter coupling and it removes latency out of the infrastructure. So you get faster transactions, you get tighter business processes. And by architecting it this way, the devices that we build to deliver it will be able to use less power in the process and be more power efficient, which is one thing that you know, we see everybody striving to do. The, the power consumption of data centers is you know, continuously growing every year in a geometric rate. Uh, and today, because this is a long-reaching vision, we, we have those steps for how to simplify the data center, how somebody can take that first step towards that long-reaching vision. And we have many proof points in our history about how we've taken multiple physical devices, things like T-series routers, plug them together into T-Matrix, they behave now like one router. Or newer products like EX4200 with virtual chassis, you know, 10 things look like one device now. And so that's, you know, some substantiation that says that we can actually get to that point. We've done it at at least some level of scale in the past. So Andy, how does Juniper's vision for the single logical switch relate to your business? Well, actually, uh, quite a bit. In fact, uh, it's what brought us to Juniper in terms of looking at them for the data center. Uh, we went on a, a search when we decided to build two new data centers, one in the U.S., one in uh, London, and compact all our other data centers into it. And what we were challenged with was taking many diverse networks that were spread out across five, six different data centers, each one having five or six different networks in it, and bringing it all together in a, you know, 100,000 square foot plus data center in each continent. The question became, how do you do that without winding up with a room full of screens, with hundreds of screens, you know, two, three, four different management tools for each network times six networks times, you know, four or five data centers, it just becomes unbelievable. The other challenge we had was to provide seamless management across continents so that we could open in London and then hand the management over to New York and then back again and essentially work, uh, follow the sun around the globe as we uh, shared the two data centers. So we started to find our own data center architecture and it, we looked at things such as flattening the network because obviously a multi-tiered architecture doesn't lend itself to that. We wanted to take tiers out also for latency and speed and performance issues. But more important, we wanted to harmonize, for lack of a better term at this point, all of the management infrastructure. As, uh, as it turned out, as we started to go around, make the rounds of all the different vendors, and you can name your top three, four network vendors, where we had the most alignment in terms of our vision of where we wanted to go is with Juniper, and we've been working with them to achieve that goal. And as a result, we are able to build the two data centers. We are able to pass operations seamlessly between continents and, and back and follow the sun because we have flattened out the network. We have come up with one uniform view of the network, and it's not six or eight or ten different networks. It's now one network that's one entity you can manage successfully. And it also provides tremendous cost savings in doing that because now your staff is trained on one network, one set of management tools, and it's much more easy to run and operate and keep track of. So Phil, how do you see this vision sort of resonating with the wider market? Well, um, fundamentally Juniper's vision of a single virtual switch is not unique. Um, most of the other vendors are heading in the same route. But um, Juniper's got, uh, got a, a couple of quite um, neat advantages which really make them worth looking at. Um, the first is the fact that you know, Andy's just talked about it's not about one data center, it's about a network of data centers. And so this is where switching and routing start to, uh, to interpinge on each other. Uh, and the fact that um, you know, you know, Juniper have, have been leaders in the carrier class uh, router market for many years and you know, using um, that experience to, to build um, you know, la layer three switches so that they can make you know, 
switching and routing really uh, come together as a, as a single architecture and build a single network of data center switching and data center you know, routing between them. So that's the first point. Which, which basically means that you can take uh, carrier class um, routing protocols like VPLS and implement them end to end inside one data center right through to the other one. So that's, um, that's that point. The other point of course is that, um, is that Juniper is using Junos basically as a single operating system across both their switching and their routing and indeed their security devices which greatly simplifies the, um, you know, the, the management uh, terminals so effectively you can have a, a single management device that can oversee that whole network of devices. So you know, I think they're in a very good position to, um, you know, to, to you know, compete effectively in this market. Now, I would add that was another key feature that was very attractive, the ability to merge our wide area network with our uh, data center networks. So it just became one seamless, contiguous network across uh, data centers worldwide. A big plus for us. Yeah, it's a big part of that second step. It's simplify, then share, and then secure.